Is Sunny V2 faking his videos? There has recently been an uptick in YouTube videos exposing Sunny V2, and for many of you, this may come as a surprise due to the seemingly crystal clear image that Sunny has built for himself over the past two years. With over 152 uploads amassing a total of 625 million views, it would be the last thing you would expect for such a renowned creator to have allegations of problematic, fake, and unethical behavior. So today we'll be taking a look at some of the videos created about Sunny V2 in order to try and pinpoint the problems and controversies that led him to such allegations. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today, we'll be investigating the Sunny V2 allegations. To do this, we have to go back to the 23rd of January 2022, when a video would be published titled, Why I Don't Like Sunny V2. Throughout the video, YouTuber The Beak would break down his issues with Sunny's content, using several points to establish the perspective that Sunny is a quote hypocrite that lacks self-awareness. Some of the main arguments betrayed in the video were that his audience more focuses on the video editing rather than the informational content at hand, that he is a quote walking contradiction for creating videos joking about commentary channels while simultaneously being one, as well as creating videos on quote nothing burgers that have already been covered to death. Around the time the video was published, The Beak only had around 34,000 subscribers, whilst on the other hand, Sunny had a staggering 827,000 subscribers that would tower over The Beak. And although there was a controversial response to the video, it seemed like The Beak was able to win most people over, with the video having a positive like to dislike ratio and comments stating things like, This video was actually a lot more agreeable than I thought. I think that Sunny's videos are definitely better when they aren't about numbers. One of my favourites that you didn't mention like is Ryan's World video was great, and was it about numbers? No. And so yeah, the video is pretty fair, I guess, but the arguments only undermine Sunny regarding things like clickbait or picking topics that he previously thought were dumb, nothing undermining his actual credibility, his own arguments, the fact he has good research, and like it said in the video, a pretty good style of editing. So there are some issues. And although this video would go on to gain an impressive 137,000 views, just five months later on the 12th of June 2022, things would get even worse for Sunny, as he would find himself getting called out but this time on a much larger scale. In a video titled My Response to Sunny V2, 6 million subscriber giant Skeppy would snap back at Sunny's video discussing his downfall. Throughout the video, Skeppy would win over his audience by disproving many of the statements and accusations made by Sunny, as well as providing some more context to genuine actions that he was called out for. With all odds laid against him, Skeppy managed to clear his name of the scam accusations by showing receipts and outright proving some of the facts portrayed in the video about him as false or as reaching, such as Sunny's point on empty pizza boxes. Suddenly, people began to question whether or not Skeppy's other videos could have possibly been fake. For example, there was this video in which Skeppy would apparently order 72 pizzas to Bad Boy Halo's house, yet Skeppy wouldn't actually show the entire phone call during which he apparently ordered the 72 pizzas. Can you check our service? How can I help you? Hi, what's the, uh, the most amount of pizzas I can order? I'm having a party right now. No, we don't have a limit. Oh, okay, cool. All right, have a good night. I ordered it. Then when the pizzas showed up to Bad Boy Halo's house, he'd only show three pizzas being opened. How do we know that he didn't only order three pizzas and sit them on top of a stack of empty boxes? Plus there are only 37 pizzas in this shot. Where are the other 35 pizzas that you claim to order in both the title and in the video? Although Sonny can't be blamed for being skeptical, as that's a big part of his channel, from Skeppy's perspective, he felt as though Sonny was being a quote jerk and trying to turn his own fans against him. The winner of the feud would be a little bit more obvious this time, with Skeppy's video receiving a massive 70,000 likes compared to only 11,000 dislikes, and comments from viewers stating, haven't watched a Skeppy video in ages, and I was a pretty old sub. I've gotta say, this is probably one of the best response videos I've seen on the internet, and while I probably won't watch many of your videos in the future, because it isn't my cup of tea anymore, you definitely gained my respect. On the 20th of December 2022, a post would be made onto the r slash pyrocynical subreddit asking the community for their thoughts on Sunny V2, and in the post was a video linked titled How Sunny V2 Invents a Moral. There's no evidence that Sunny V2 uses in this video. There's no like data-fueled investigation Sunny's using to demonstrate that 
these three videos did uh, real damage to Quabble Cop's career. And in fact, I would argue that um, the data does not prove out this point, really. And it's not like the month that he released these three videos changed everything for him, you know, ruined his career. It's kind of just been a slow decline. You know, the month after he lost some views, then he got more, then he got more, and now he's doing work. You know, it's, it's complicated. There's just not, like, a really tangible, concrete reason to believe this. With the video receiving 194% more likes than dislikes, it was evident that the YouTube community agreed with Joel's takes on Sonny's video. Things weren't looking good for Sonny, as not even three days later, a new video would be published titled, Why Sonny V2 Is Disliked By Everyone. But this video would not be perceived as well as the previous examples shown. The video consisted of many of the same points discussed in the Beaks video, except this time, the creator seemed to be having trouble getting his point across, resulting in the video feeling more like a ramble than a level-headed critique. Uh, spoiler at nothing, because 157 million views could buy me a car. According to Sonny's ways, apparently he's dying, he's gone from 64 million months to 37. Ed YouTuber stater. And with comments such as, bro, what are you trying to prove? And, the title should be Why I Hate Sunny V2. It was evident that the video came off to viewers as more of a hate piece rather than a logical and constructive critique. With over 105 dislikes compared to just 66 likes, it's safe to say that this video was perceived extremely poorly. Remember Big Joel who we mentioned earlier? Well, on the 24th of December, he would go on to publish a second video on Sunny V2, this time titled A Genuinely Unhinged Sunny V2 Video. And throughout the video, Joel would once again dissect one of Sunny's videos was playing devil's advocate for the expose. But Ninja fails to realize the reason people perceive him as fake is not because he's toxic, not because he's family friendly. It's because once again, he's trying to be something that he's not in order to appeal to an audience instead of just being who he truly is. People liked him most when he was the old toxic ninja. That's what I'm talking about dude so i guess i'd find this uh, one of the more interesting moments in the video and a telling one where sunny v2 essentially asserts without any sort of knowledge of ninja um what his authenticity looks like maybe it is true that he used to enjoy screaming on the internet who doesn't enjoy it who doesn't enjoy it but the, but the reality is, there's a possibility that it's not inauthentic that he's changing. He's just, like, becoming a different guy, kinda. Like, he's not exactly the same as the person you liked. Does that inherently mean that he has some deep moral failing? Are you the ninja sage? Do you know everything that goes on inside of his mind? You know, what what is the standard of evidence that we're using here to assert that this man is bullshitting you because he's done some internal change. Some moments in Sonny's videos led the viewers to believe that his point of exposing Ninja's dark side was actually exposing how he stopped making racist remarks, which seems to be a miscommunication on Sonny's end, as he also speculated on Ninja's use of drugs, which didn't seem like an impossibility based on the evidence at hand. With there already being several videos critiquing Sonny, a video would be posted that would damage his channel more than any of these previous videos we discussed, and this video would be posted by none other than Sonny V2 himself, as Sonny Sunny V2 would publish a video titled, Why Dream's Face Reveal Was an Awful Decision, a video that would cause the YouTube commentary community to eat him alive. Throughout the video, Sunny would make the argument that Dream's face reveal was a very bad decision made on the premise that his channel was falling off. Dream's face reveal could qualify as the worst mistake made by a content creator ever, and we're going to outline several reasons why, beginning with possibly the most crucial point being that Dream's unseen face was one of the only things keeping him relevant. This video alone would result in several commentary channels leaping to Dream's defense. There are some serious problems with Sonny V2, and it appears that he has become the very thing that he once swore to destroy. Hey guys, I thought we'd just take a look at this new Sonny v2 video that just dropped called why dreams face reveal was an awful decision immediately upon starting this video you're hit in the face with some of the worst takes you have ever heard someone describing dream revealing his face as one of the worst mistakes made by a content creator ever Part of the reason there have been so many videos published on this topic recently could be based on the fact that Sonny has built himself a trustworthy and reliable image, so that when he does get something wrong or has an incredibly controversial take, it becomes a massive deal. Many of the videos critiquing Sonny seem to have the same arguments, but commentary channel Achito summarizes the main response well with this statement. 
I think Sonny is overthinking this entire thing. Like, his face is just public. People now know what he looks like. I think that's really it. What happened after Dreamface revealed? He got clowned on for like 24 hours, and that's it. Now his face is just public. Sonny thinks that after Dream has face revealed that now his merch won't really sell or something, that he will be irrelevant sooner or later, that his content is going to be modified for the worse, and that we won't get any more bangers like Mask? Like, okay? I seriously don't think Dream face revealing is that bad, and I really definitely don't think that it's the worst mistake a content creator has ever made. In a video titled The Problems with Sunny V2, Jalen would make an interesting critique to Sunny's upload schedule. Now, as Sunny's channel has started to pick up, his upload schedule has become more frequent, and it seems as if he's just trying to get these videos out as fast as he possibly can, which is kind of counterintuitive to what his channel used to be. This argument seems to be based on the fact that Sunny V2 has recently been increasing his upload frequency at the expense of his video quality. But this is simply untrue. Sunny V2 has been posting weekly videos for over a year now, and whilst it's arguable that the editing quality has slightly declined, it is certainly not a matter of producing content more frequently, and likely due to the fact that the story of the video should be the main focus, rather than the flashy visuals for the style of his content. But this still leaves us with the question of if Sunny V2 is faking his videos. And the best example of this is not what you would expect. On the 31st of December 2021, Sunny V2 would publish a video titled The Tragic Tale of EDP 445, and the beak puts it best. The issue is the only evidence that he's able to provide is for no caller ID calls on his iPhone, which isn't exactly rock solid evidence to say the least. Right. So the evidence behind EDP-445 being in jail is two people saying that he's in jail. Which beforehand, you even say that you can't really trust, that you have to take with a grain of salt. We'll preface this part by stating that there have been numerous accounts of EDP being arrested. However, they never seem to have any rock solid proof to go along with it. So take everything said in the next section with a grain of salt. And in the video, you even disprove the evidence. Jesus Christ, so you don't even know if he's in jail. Why did you put finally in jail in the thumbnail? He's probably not even in jail. This huge new update regarding EDP 445 it isn't actually a huge new update it's nothing edp 445 isn't in jail what uh What's the point of this video? Sunny's EDP 455 video was clickbait at best or misinformation at worst. But excluding these outlier videos, it seems like Sunny V2 has been one of the most consistent content creators on the platform and has in the grand scheme of things had minimal controversies, which is a feat for someone who could be considered under the commentary niche, where each creator is seemingly called out for something every second week. But the real question that we haven't answered here yet is if Unbox Therapy is buying views or not. Click the video on screen to find out more.